Hi everyone, this is Brooks Goodmore with Awaken Arise and today is Monday, June 22nd. And today I wanted to talk about a key characteristic of what we see in high performers. We've talked about this before, other characteristics that are very common among high performers and so I wanted to add on to our list. So today I wanted to talk about the attribute of the desire for self-improvement. A lot of times we um, can sometimes get into the, the zone or the, the mindset of, I am content where I am, or I finally reached this goal, whatever that goal is, or I um, finally made this accomplishment, and kind of get settled into that spot. That We also see this a lot when we're going to be evaluated. Maybe you're getting evaluated by your boss um, or by your coach. A lot of times when that happens, our defense walls go up and we try to, you know, uh, defend why we do the things the way we do or my students love me things are going great I have no need to change but the problem with that mindset is that we kind of set these false limitations on ourselves all of us no matter how high or far we get in life all of us only use a small percentage of our physical and our mental attributes so all of us have room for growth and if we say that we're good enough or I'm fine with where I'm at Again, we set that kind of false limitation and then it's, we can't progress beyond that point. It's kind of like this Eastern philosophy or this Eastern um, parable where a businessman goes into the Zen master and he says, I'm ready to learn, teach me all there is to know about Zen. And the Zen master says, come on in, have a seat and let's have a cup of tea. And so to demonstrate an object lesson here, we'll use water so you can see what's going on. So the Zen master gets a cup of tea for his guest and he starts pouring the tea in the cup. And as he's pouring, 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 all of a sudden the water starts spilling and the, the man says, you're spilling, you're spilling, you're spilling. And the Zen master looks at him and he says, precisely, that's because you've already come to me with a full cup. I can't give you anything if your cup is already full. There is there is no room to fill your mind because you came to me assuming you already know everything. So we might consider that idea as we go into a business meeting. Maybe it's the same meeting. Every Monday morning we have the same meeting and it's getting old. I already know what we're going to talk about. Or maybe you're doing the same drill that you've done all, all, all fall long with your soccer team. We do this drill all the time. I already got it down. Or maybe you're already a starter on your team. You already get playing time. Maybe you got the promotion and you're feeling good about where you're at. But again, where where is that limitation that we're setting on ourselves? So another kind of Eastern um, way of thinking about it is to enter every situation, or every meeting, every practice with what's called the beginner's mind. So I'm entering every uh, meeting or every practice with this, with a cup that's not full yet. And what happens then as I enter that scenario with an, a beginner's mind, with room to grow, now as things come up, I'm accepting it. I'm willing to, to see areas that could be better. I'm willing to see areas that could change. So um, you might notice this. We have noticed this in high-performing athletes. For example, Michael Jordan was one who, even after winning the championship, he was one who was right back in the gym working on his shots, putting up more shots. He had just won the championship. Some people might say, what are you doing? You're, you did it, you know? Um, but he is one example of someone who that wasn't enough and it, he wanted more and he wanted that feeling of self-improvement. For a lot of high performers, it's not even that that outcome that matters the most. It's not the trophy so much or the paycheck that, that is the final, you know, the end or the final resolve. A lot of times it's the day-to-day -day small steps towards self-mastery. It's that feeling of improvement that is the most fulfilling, almost addicting for a high performer that I, I love that feeling of every day just getting a little bit better, a little bit better. And so we might consider trying that this week and throughout the throughout whatever it is that you're working towards, having that beginner's mindset where I'm going into this situation ready to learn something new, ready to um, grow and, and change and being open to, to improvement. So let's work on that this week and I'm gonna go change my pants that are wet now. Have a great week, everyone.